Hello everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and again another one where I'm sharing some uh, work that I've done using the new stamps from Dina Wakeley um, that I received from Ranger. So I'm playing in the craft journal, um, I've nearly finished this craft journal so soon there'll be a flip through of this one. Um, this was um, the back of a rainbow cutout page that I did so I stuck a piece of craft cardstock on the left hand page so that I could make a foldable page so that's why there's a piece of the brown tape down the center just to kind of cover that join in the middle so then I'm using some gel medium and sticking down some of Dina's uh, collage tissue paper then this is the um, a semic writing stamp that comes in the seeing is believing stamp set and I'm just stamping a bit of that onto the background too sorry I keep uh, knocking the camera with my head I do apologize I know it was a bit wobbly there I hope it doesn't make any of you feel queasy and um, then I'm going in with turquoise and um, quite a dry brush to start off with so I'm just getting that paint moving roughly where I want it to be and then I think I do wet my brush just to help move the paint, paint oh dear I can't speak paint around a bit more too then I am using a peacock peacock and turquoise colors just really really go nicely together um, complement each other so nicely it's obviously because they're so close on the colour wheel <laughs> but um, I do love putting these colours together so then I'm just adding a few areas of this on the page too and I am trying desperately to leave some craft showing through um, I think I do manage it at the end of the page as well which is almost a miracle for me um, then this is blackberry as you can see it's nearly run out so I have cut it open um, and then there's a little bit more in there than I want to use so I've just um, left it partly attached where I've cut it open and then just stuck a bit of sellotape uh, through there just to seal up so it doesn't dry up and so far it hasn't dried up so that's quite good this is the squoval stencil also from Dina Wakeley and I'm just using um, a blending tool and adding a little bit of that paint um, so I've got a bit on my blending tool and then I kind of rubbed it around on my glass mat so it just removes a bit of the excess because I didn't want it to be too opaque. Then this is carnation and um, you can see too much came out, which is typical. And again, a clean blending sponge and I'm going in with this stencil whose name I cannot remember. No, it's not that one. Um, I've got a little crib sheet with all the names of the stencils on and for the life of me I can't find this one. So if you happen to know what this one is called please feel free to put it in the comments below. Um, that would be great. So I do apologise I can't find the name of this stencil. This one however is called uh, Marks and I'm using that with magenta. So um, these colours are so pretty together. In fact, I think I want to create this background. I love it so much. Recreate it because I love it so much. So that's turquoise, peacock, blackberry, carnation and magenta. That's such a pretty combination. And I love the way that that uh, scribble, a semic writing stamp is still showing through in some places. So this is the face that is on that seeing is believing stencil. And I'm going to stamp that onto a piece of collage tissue paper. Um, this is a fabulous stamp because you'll notice when you stamp it some areas are really really dark and some are not some are a bit lighter grey it's such a cool effect I love it so I've stamped that onto there and I'm going to cut it out leaving um, some body type shape coming off the head stamp as well it's going to go in the middle of my page I'm sticking it down again with the um, gel medium so then I couldn't decide what to do with the body now I love what Neve did if don't you you've seen Neve's um, uh, videos where she shared what she's done with these uh, stamps but she actually used some of the stamps in this set to create a body um, and I was really tempted to to kind of recreate that that Neve had done but then thought I would use this text from also from D, um, Dina's one of Dina's sets um, and use that for my body so then once that's dry I'm then using a stubble o all and just drawing in a sort of rough 
body shape not worrying about arms or anything like that just going for that kind of effect then these are some archival mini ink pads and I'm just going to grab them so I can tell you what colours I used so I've got oh, sorry paradise teal vivid chartreuse and library green and I'm just using the leaf stamp from this set and stamping these onto a piece of collage tissue paper that's left over from stamping the face. I've put the stamps onto an acrylic block so that I can get a better imprint. And then I'm going to be cutting these out. So what I'm going to be doing with these is creating a sort of a botanical shape either side of my figure. So I'm going to cut some of the leaf shapes out and then stick them down using some gel medium. So I'm just adding some gel medium onto my page and then I'm going to just position those leaves in place where I want them to be. So you might be thinking, well, that's no good because they don't stand out very well. But um, my plan was to use a stubble all to outline them and then water activate it and it creates such a great effect. Um, and it's a lovely way to get a more sort of a softer outline because the Stubolo pencil, when it act water activates, it kind of bleeds out a little bit and creates this softer uh, look than a, a pen, like a Posca pen, would create. So once this was, I did dry this as well before going in with my Stubolo oil. And I don't know if any of you have found this as well. Once you've, if you use a heat tool to dry your page, and then go straight in with a Stubolo pencil it kind of makes the pencil even more creamy because the page is warm. It's like the heat of the, um, the heat tool <laughs> makes your pencil go really soft. So be a little bit careful if you have just heated your page to get it dry. Then going in with your Stubolo pencil, it will make it really squishy. Um, and then here you can see I'm just um, brushing over those lines once um, to just activate them a little bit. Not only does it darken them up, but it does create a much softer effect. I've also done some of the lines inside the leaves as well and you can see that that kind of really pops it out from the background and yet these colours are all working so well together. Um, yeah, it's, I'm often drawn to the pinks and purples and so to add that blue and the turquoise in there with the, sorry, the turquoise and the peacock, I don't know, just gave it a kind of slightly different twist but it was really pretty. I love how it works. So just repeating the process here on the left, but um, I didn't want to disappear all the background and cover it up. So I did kind of do this one sort of slightly coming off the page um, because I loved this background so much and I didn't want it all to be hidden. So the harder you press on with the Stubolo pencil, the darker your lines will be when you water activate them as well and then of course got to do my mark making using my dots so these are going to go the dots are going to go at the bottom of these two um, botanical things that I've drawn botanical elements plants I don't know what you want to call them um, branches and then I have found that these ledger papers there is a quote for every occasion on these and um, I found one that worked perfectly for this page so cutting it out, cutting it to size so that it will fit on my page and then I will use my fine applicator nozzle with the clear glue in to stick it in place. I'm 
my tweezers keep getting a bit gluey as well, but it doesn't matter. I'm not worried about that. Okay, so sticking this in place. And I think that is pretty much this page finished. So I had lots of fun creating this page. It was, um, I don't know, it's just one of those ones that kind of flowed and it worked really well, even though I didn't have a plan for it when I first started, apart from using the stamp set. And then I decided that the um, blindfold across the eyes was the perfect place to write some keywords. And that's what I did using my white pen. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create a journal page using Dina's new, one of Dina's new stamp sets. Um, they are so much fun to use. I think my three favourites so far are Seeing is Believing, Circled and Squared. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.